Hi, this is Dr. Kale Goldfarb with Water and Sports Physical Therapy. Today we're here to talk about IT band syndrome and some new treatments that have recently developed to help with it. We're going to talk about myofascial decompression. It's like cupping. It's traditional cupping they've done in China for thousands of years, but recently there's been changes and studies done to show that there can be a huge benefit of using these cups to break down scar tissue and enhance the length of fascia. So I'm actually here with a patient right now, my patient Brittany, and we've been working with Brittany for a little while on trying to lengthen the IT band. Brittany is a runner and trying to continue with running, and it's been difficult over the years. And we're trying to work on lengthening the IT band, getting rid of scar tissue, and allowing her to run, to squat, and to move her knee pain free. So far, we've been extremely successful. So I want to show you the techniques we've been doing and talk about what things led up to this and what we continue in the future to do to help prevent it from coming back. So, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about myofascial decompression. That is cupping, and we use a pneumatic device. Most physical therapy clinics and practitioners do not do this, and if they do, they usually don't apply it the way we do, and I'll describe what I mean. It looks sort of gross, so I'll be honest. Uh, don't let it scare you. But what happens is we actually use negative pressure to pull the tissue up into the cup. And we can do this at multiple areas on the uh, length of the IT band. What we try to do is get the tissue between the IT band and the quads to pull um, and to try to release that, that connective scarring. As you can see here, it turns red and these actually feel tight. Now we can move these around, but most important, we're going to treat this like we would pin and stretching, or ART, where you actually lengthen the tissue while holding it down. Here's what we do. We're going to hold her in a Thomas stretch position, so we're going to increase the tissue tension of the quad and IT band. We're going to bring the leg across and let it come down here. Now as she bends her knee, and Brittany will tell you, it's not super comfortable. We can change the resistance here but we're actually going to bend your knee and as it bends you're going to see it get more red we're pulling the blood to the surface instead of pushing down on tissue which is traditionally what massage therapy and physical therapy and chiropractors do we're using negative pressure pulling up the, the skin and fascia into the cup when we pull back increases the tension and then comes forward she pulls back we'll find that position and then we'll pull the cup and I'm sure that Brittany's not super comfortable right now, but that pulling is taking that fascia and stretching it along, and they can come off, that's okay, uh, along the pathway that you desire. So, what we've done here, and I've already treated her, so we have some marks, and it does leave some bruising sometimes for two days up to a week. What we do here is we lengthen all the tissue through. This is very effective in helping with the chronic IT band tendonitis, patellofemoral pain, patella tendonitis, uh, knee bursitis, very effective. Now, do we only want to treat this? No, because the problem will continue to come back unless we look at other things. So in Brittany's case, like most runners, you need to make sure that her ankle mobility, there's enough dorsiflexion, the motion where she brings her foot up, if you don't have enough dorsiflexion, you're going to bang against the joint here and it's going to change how you run. We won't allow you to run properly. The other issue we have that we found out, which most of you will miss, is her hip proprioception and her hip motor control was not there on just this one side. So she's not able to control her hip when she is on single leg stance. So we've done a ton of exercises to stabilize her hip. The last thing that most runners don't notice is in their running stance, they cross over during running. When your legs cross over, you end up putting a lot, a lot of extra stress and pressure on the outside of the hip. The hip drops down, the knee drops in, that excessively pulls on the IT band, which pulls on the patella, which pulls on the tendon. So this, it's this, this continual pathology that you cause. Legs come across, excessive pull, trauma, scarring, it scars so it's tighter. So we have the same process over and over and over again. 
So Brittany came because you had this treatment in the past, mm -hmm. and if you want to just tell a little bit what happened in the past and how this has uh, changed now. Yeah, I mean, I've been running for years and always had all this knee pain and had been through multiple different therapies trying to figure out uh, what it could be, and I was at Wix End, and I came here and, and we, we tried the cupping for the first time, and you know, of course the first time it's, it's always tighter than, and as we go it gets, it gets much easier, but every single time it has just released the pressure and it's felt great, and now I can squat down and I can run without any pain, and I, I just think it's amazing. So it's been, it's been great. We've seen results very quickly, and this has been a chronic problem. It's one thing if you hurt yourself and two weeks later you get treated, it's usually quick. If you had something, a problem for a year, how many years have you had this problem It's been for? about four years. Four years, and within, I'd say within a month, she was feeling significantly better. I mean, when she walked in, she literally could not straighten her knee out without severe pain. No. And now, not painful at all. Yeah. She ran great. this weekend, felt great. So there are all different treatment approaches. But if you know the area that you're treating, and you know the problem is the IT band, and that is scarred, that myofascial decompression can be very effective. It's non-invasive. It only is tender when you're doing it. So it's a great treatment technique to uh, help promote a person to move forward without traumatizing the tissue. So if you have any questions, feel free to see us at waterandsportspt.com. Thanks.